Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I share my Flutter projects and tutorials. In this video I will show you how I made a donut chart widget using the Sync Fusion Flutter Gauges package. This widget displays the browser market shares at a specific website in 2014 using different colors for CSS, HTML and SAS. It also has a nice card design and some text labels to make it more attractive. Let's get started. The third chart of the column widget is a radial bar chart 3. First we need to import the Sync Fusion Flutter Gauges package in our pubspec.yaml file. This package provides us with the CELES radial gauge widget which is the main component of our donut chart. Next you need to create a radial bar chart 3 class. Now we override the build method of our widget, which returns a card widget. This widget gives our radial bar chart a nice elevation and rounded corners. We set the color and surface tint color properties to white color. We also set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border with a border radius of 20. Inside the card widget, we add a padding widget with a default padding value of 1.5. This adds some space around the edges of our donut chart. Then we add a column widget with a cross axis alignment of cross axis alignment start. This aligns the children of the column to the left edge. The first child of the column is a row widget, which contains two main parts, the SVG image and the title. The SVG image is a SVG picture widget, which displays an SVG asset from our assets folder. The title is a text widget with a value of donut, which is the name of our donut chart. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 22 and a font weight of font weight W700, which makes the text larger and bolder. We also add a size box widget with a width of default padding division 2, which adds some horizontal space between the image and the text. The second child of the column is a text widget with a value of browser market shares at a specific website, 2014, which is the subtitle of our donut chart. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 20, a font weight of font weight, W400, and a color of colors dot gray, which makes the text smaller, lighter, and grayer. The third child of the column is a sized box widget with a height of default padding multiply 2 which adds some vertical space between the text and the donut chart. The fourth child of the column is a row widget which contains the labels for each segment of the donut chart. The labels are composed of a container widget and a text widget for each segment. The container widget has a width of 27, a height of 13 and a decoration of box decoration with a color and a border radius. The border radius is a border radius with a circular value of 20, which makes the container have rounded corners. The text widget has a value of the name of the segment, such as Xhidmal or SAS. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 16, a font weight of font weight W500, and a color of colors black, which makes the text medium sized, medium weighted, and black. We also add a sized box widget with a width of 10, which adds some horizontal space between the container and the text. We repeat the same process for the other segments and we add a sized box widget with a width of default padding, which adds some horizontal space between the segments. The fifth child of the column 
is an self-radial gauge widget, which is the core of our donut chart, and it allows us to customize the axes, pointers, annotations, and other aspects of the gauge. The radial gauge widget takes a list of radial axis widgets as its axis property. Each radial axis widget represents a segment of the donut chart, and it has its own properties such as radius factor, axis line style, start angle, end angle, show ticks, show labels, annotations, and pointers. We use these properties to adjust the size, color, value, and appearance of each segment. For example, the first radial axis widget has a radius factor of 0 0.65, which means that it has a radius of 65% of the gauge. It also has an axis line style property, which is an axis line style object that describes the style of the axis line. We set the thickness property to 25, which is the thickness of the axis line, and we set the color property to colors.gray. Shade 200, which is a predefined gray color, we set the start angle property to 270 and the end angle property to 270, which means that the axis line starts and ends at the same angle, creating a circular shape. We set the show ticks property to false and the show labels property to false, which means that we do not show any ticks or labels on the axis. We also add a single annotation of type gauge annotation which is a widget that can be placed on the gauge. We set the widget property to a text widget with a value of 73%, which is the percentage of the browser market share. We set the style property to a text style with a font weight of font weight dot bold, a font size of 25, and a color of colors dot black. We set the angle property to 270, which means that the annotation is placed at the same angle as the axis line. We set the position factor property to 0.1, which means that the annotation is placed at 10% of the radius from the center of the gauge. We repeat the same process for the other three radial axis widgets, but we change the radius factor, start angle, end angle, and annotation properties to create different segments. We also add a single pointer of type range pointer for each segment, which is a filled arc that indicates the value of the segment. We set the value property to the percentage of the browser market share, such as 50 for SAS, 20 for CS, and 15 for HTML. We set the color property to the same as the color of the corresponding label. We set the width property to the same as the thickness of the axis line, which is 25. We also set the show axis line property to false, which means that we do not show the axis line for the segments. The sixth child of the column is a row widget which contains three main parts. The image, the name, and the button. The image is a clip rect widget which clips its child widget with a rounded rectangle. We set the border radius property to a border radius with a circular value of 60 which makes the rectangle have circular corners. We set the child property to an image widget which displays an image asset from our assets folder. We also set the scale property to 3.5, which reduces the size of the image by a factor of 3.5. The name is a column widget with a cross axis alignment of cross axis alignment start, which aligns the children of the column to the left edge. The first child of the column is a text widget with a value of Robert Fox, 
which is the name of the person who made the website. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 22 and a font weight of fontweight.bold, which makes the text larger and bolder. The second child of the column is a text widget with a value of software developer, which is the profession of the person. We set the style property to a text style with a color of colors.gray and a font weight of fontweight.normal, which makes the text grayer and lighter. We also add a size box widget with a width of default padding um, 2, which adds some horizontal space between the image and the name. The button is an elevated button widget which displays a raised button with a text label. We set the style property to an elevated button style from method, which allows us to customize the appearance of the button. We set the elevation property to zero, which removes the shadow of the button. We set the primary property to colors.black, which sets the background color of the button to black. We set the padding property to an edge insets with a symmetric value of horizontal 14, which adds some horizontal padding to the button. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border with a border radius of 40, which makes the button have rounded corners. We set the on pressed property to an empty function, which means that the button does not perform any action when pressed. You can add your own logic to the function if you want the button to do something. We set the child property to a text widget with a value of profile, which is the label of the button. We set the style property to a text style with a color of colors dot white, a font size of 14, and a default font family, which makes the text white, medium sized, and plain. And that's how we create the button for our donut chart widget. This is the last component of our widget, and we have completed the code for our donut chart. You can see the result on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Flutter tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.